Well, hello guys, this is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap. I'm excited to see you today. Today I am going to be making some bubble bath scoops, guys. I'm making me some bubble bath scoops. Um, well, I got some up and coming events and stuff like that. So I'm just preparing and I'm bringing you guys along with me. So um, what you see right there is my SLSA. And that is how we get our bubbles inside of our bubble bath scoops okay because it's always that one main ingredient that give you exactly what you need and this is slsa okay so i like to put that in first because um i like to pile all the other ingredients on top of it because the slsa does make you cough when it gets into the air okay so make sure you wear yourself um some kind of mask or something like that because you will experience that cough okay all right so go ahead and hit that like guys i want you guys to subscribe to the channel um and also hit the notification bell so you do not miss when i go live and post new videos okay all right so the recipe that you see today will be um linked inside the description box and it will be in my patreon um listen it's so much in that patreon i can't even begin to explain it this morning they just got some fragrances that was under $10 a pound. I always get them deals, discounts, and um, all kinds of candle making recipes, skincare recipes. It is so much there. You definitely don't want to miss it. And also my website, if you don't want to be a part of the Patreon, you could purchase these recipes on my website as well, okay? All right, so let's talk about this recipe. Right there, you see me adding some baking soda to it. That's the second ingredient, okay? Um, this recipe will give you a hard bath, what is it, bubble bath scoop? Yes, <laughs> it will be hard, okay? I've been using this recipe for about two years. I've shared it with so many people. It gives, you, it gives you a really hard one, okay? So you don't have to worry about um, a few days and you just having a whole bunch of dough sitting out and nothing happens, okay? This is a hard recipe. So we use cream of tartar and it's also called, like, if you buy it from wholesale supply, supplies plus, they call it bubble cake hardener, I believe. Yeah, but I'm not going to buy a cream of tartar from no wholesale supplies plus. That's something I can get <laughs> at like a restaurant store, okay? All right, so by the time you finish, it should be all sifted and smooth. You shouldn't have any kind of lumps or clumps or anything inside of your bubble bath scoop batter. We're going to call it batter today, all right? So we have another step to this process. And so we will be adding basically all of our dry ingredients first, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and add our baking soda. Um, like I said, in cream of tartar, okay? So that'll be it for all of the dry ingredients. So let me go over that. So we have the SLSA, we have the cream of tartar, and we have the baking soda, okay? So that is pretty much all of our dry ingredients. So um, getting everything sifted out to a fine powder, and then we're going to add our wet ingredients, guys. All right, so I wanna talk to you guys while I'm adding my wet ingredients. Um, so I have this thing that I do during the week, and that is my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions for candle makers, okay? So if you desire to be a candle maker, go ahead and look in the description box, guys. Um, my coaching sessions are very reasonable. You only need about 30 minutes. I know it may look like, oh my God, I'm going to need more than 30 minutes. No, guys, in 30 minutes, you get all and everything you need to make perfect candles because if you are making candles with a kit that you got off of amazon you are not making candles if you are making candles with some supplies that you got from michael's you are not making candles okay if you want to learn how to make candles and how to get them to smell just like the bath and body works and to get your wax your um diameter wick size for your jar um everything you need your fragrance go ahead and book it today okay all right so what i'm doing is 
I am adding some cornstarch. I did forget to say that I'm adding some cornstarch. Cornstarch is very soft. Um, you don't really have to sift it because it's like a powder that's really soft and it does not clump. Okay. The only time cornstarch really clumped is when you start adding it with other powders. So it's really soft. So I'm just mixing everything around and I'm doing it very gently because if I agitate this too much, then it will get in the air and make me cough. So I'm just being very, very cough, very, very cautious with it. All right. So this is my vegetable glycerin. And this is a very important part of the recipe because it will act as a binder. Um, it will not do anything like you don't have to worry about it there's no citric acid in this recipe so when you add this vegetable glycerin it's not going to cause anything to activate it is a lot but it's going to keep everything together and cause things to you know flow together and firm up all right so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to kind of mix that in um and then we have two more things that we're going to be adding to this recipe just as our binders okay all right so the next thing we got is some um, fragrance we have some fragrance now listen guys the fragrance is off the chain okay so i had like a sample pack for the spring from northwood candle supply and i've been using these fragrances and they smell amazing i'm not even gonna lie to y'all if you guys are hurting over 16 17 you need to just get up off your fanny and go to northwood candle supply they have some really nice beautiful luxury type fragrances for a fraction of the price they are not as high as 16 17 you get really good quality um today I'm I'm using lost cherry okay lost cherry it really smells like a cherry cologne i know it sounds funny to say that but it really smells like a cherry cologne it's not a sweet like it is it does have like a, a little bit of a sweet smell but not quite uh, sweet as cherry would be so i would i wouldn't call this my cherry if i needed to choose like a cherry pie because it has like a um masculine kind of feel to it like a cherry cologne it smells real good all right so you want to take your hands and just kind of um knead all of this together just keep mixing it together pushing it together um until it starts to firm up and stick together when you put it in your hands like a bath bomb yeah so you want to keep doing that all right and now we're going to do is we're going to separate it and we're going to add some color to it this is really simple guys i've made bubble bath scoops so many times on my channel um so if you need more like of a detailed video you can definitely go back and pull up diamond shine soap bubble bath scoops and it will come up all right all right so look let's go ahead and mix these colors in that's so so important because if you don't do it correctly you'll have like white um specks inside of it okay and then i'm going to do pink so i'm doing orange white and pink okay and so i'm going to use a mini scooper and i'm going to use the big scooper um the one thing i'm going to say about these recipes is you have to move pretty quick because if you don't they will dry out and you don't want to re-wet it because it makes it harder to get it out of that scooper and also um yeah it take longer to dry so you don't want to wet it too much all right so you want to go ahead and just scoop from different um as you can see i have like different bowls to scoop from so one bowl has pink one has orange and one has white so you just scoop from all three if you want to get all three colors and then you want to press down on the back of it um and that's just to get everything to stick together and as you can see that one kind of fell apart um so i had to press a little bit harder and then when you see it come out it sticks together like that then you did a good job all right so i'm going to do that with all the small ones and then when i get the big one i'm going to do the same thing as well okay so i'm just making the small ones because i can put those inside of a um eight ounce container four ounce container whatever i want to do uh and you guys see now what i do love about this recipe is even the little tiny ones will give you a ton of bubbles and i know it may look like you're using a lot of slsa in this recipe but i'm using it within the safe ranges and also listen 
it's going to give you really, really nice bubbles. All right, so I had messed that one up, so I was just kind of fixing it with my hands. All right, and so that's just what I'm going to do. Just keep, you know, putting them onto this uh, paper, and that is it, okay? That's, that's it. So there's my bubbles right there, and I just used a mini scooper to do that. All right. 